Hello, in this clip we will discuss the Bayes formula and, and this Bayes formula has a lot of applications in uh, machine learning and AI. Uh, in the first clips we will only discuss mainly on the, uh, the example of the uh, usage of the Bayes formula. Okay, so the first example is uh, it's a really simple spam mail problem, okay? So you know what a spam mail is, right? So if you look at these two emails, uh, the first one uh, and the second one, um, which one do you think is, is a spam? Yeah, clearly it's, it's, it's this one, right? So it's clearly uh, this one. So this one looks like a normal okay email, right? So for those which are okay email, we call we're gonna call it a ham, and for for those that are uh, a bad email, that advertisement emails, we call it a, a, a spam. Okay. All right. So uh, how can we guess if an email is a spam or not? Okay. Uh, for us hu uh, human, we just look at the email text, and and we can make a few simple uh, observation, like. If you look at the the email text and we see the word uh, like cheap or extremely cheap or curry or something that looks like an advertisement, so we, we think it's, it's it is a spam. Okay, um, ca can we quantify this? Oh. Okay, so so to we want we want to write a program that uh, classify emails into uh, spam mail. And ham mails. Okay, so we we start by uh, write down the beliefs that we have for spam and ham mails, and and we can do that from if you have a lot of uh, if you have collected email data, and there are some, and you can find many of them on the internet, and with this data we can uh, estimate various properties of of a, a, a typical email. Okay, a typical email. And what are they like? Like we might we might be able to say that uh, if you collect all the emails and 40% uh, of emails are are spam, and while the rest 60% are ham. Maybe this number is wrong, but this is just for for an, an example. And we also try might wanna try to write a belief related to the word cheap. Okay, so. Yeah, we, we may guess that uh, spam mails are more likely to contain the word cheap. Okay, so we can use collected data and, and we might be able to say something like this, like if an email is a spam with probability 80%, uh, uh, it will contain the word cheap. And if it is a ham, uh, with probability of only 50% uh, that it will contain the word cheap. So we re can rewrite our knowledge using the language of probability. Okay, so we, we our experiment that we probably not gonna perform it, but we can think of it this way. So we wanna pick a random email from a sample the sample space, and there are three events that we are, we are interested in. One is the event S, that's the event that a random email is a spam, and another random event H is that uh, an event that random email is a ham, it is not a spam. So from this we know that these two events are um, um, mutually exclusive and, and they uh, somehow, uh, the union of, of these two events uh, is the sample space. And we also have an event C, which is an event that a random email contain the word cheap. Okay, there are three, ev three events. Okay, so we can draw a Venn diagram. So this is the sample space of all sample space of all emails, and and this sample space is divided into two subset. One is S. Oh, sorry, S is not uh, a sample space anymore. So this is the space of uh, this is an event that a random email is is a spam. And another is a ham. Another subset is a ham. And we know that uh, there's another event, C, 
which is the email contained the word sheet that it, it might look like this okay so if you're in if you're in spam part uh, the probability that you would contain the word sheet is a lot right like 80 percent but if you're in the ham part uh, the probability that you're going to contain the word chip is only like 20%. Okay, so this is the example of uh, the events that we are looking for. And we can write it as with the probability not notations like this. So we, w w we, we say the probability that of the event S is 0.4, the probability of the event H is 0.6, and, and Given that you are a spam mail, you're going to contain the word chip with probability 0 0.8. And on the other hand, if you are a ham, you're going to have uh, the word chip with probability only 0 0.2. All right. So um, with this simple model, we can talk a little bit more about uh, uh, the probabilities about of various events, right? So if we got an email without looking at its text, at all, this is an email. So what's the probability that it is a spam? So this is P of S, right? And this is 0 0.4, right? So what's the probability that it is a ham? So this is P of H, so that's equal 1 point P of S, right? And that's 0 0.6. And this, these are simple facts that we get from the model. And we can also think about this. Uh, we, if we get an email, okay, and we look at it, and th there's a word cheap in it. So we would like to know if it, uh, if it is a spam or if it's, it's, it's a ham. So this is a more uh, interesting application of the model, right? So we want to compute. What, what do we want to compute? We know that this is a word cheap, right? So we want to compute the probability that so if it's a spam, right? So we want to compute the probability that an e a random email is a spam, right? So this is S. But is this the exact uh, probability that we want to compute? Yeah, we, we want to compute probability of S, right? But we know that this is another information that we have. We know that it is I this email contains the word cheap. So what we want is, is this probably that it is spam given that it contains the word chief. And also if it's a ham or not, right? So we want to compute P of S given P. Right. So uh, this is what we want to compute. But so this is our problem, okay? We want to compute this and that. So basically this one does this one is enough, right? So probably. And wh what what we know, do we know the value of this exactly? Uh, not 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 quite right. We only only know probability of S, probability of, of H, and and these two uh, conditional probabilities, but we don't know exactly this. It's 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 backward, right? So we know that uh, if it is spam, you're gonna probability that it is co it contains the word chief is this, but if it contains the word chief, what's the probability that this email is a spam? So it's this this one. So it's backward. It's not the same thing, right? All right, so what what do we do? So we, we should try to follow the definition. Okay, so we want to compute the probability that uh, the email is a spam given that it contains the word cheap. And by the definition, what, what, what do we have? We have that probability that, th th by the definition, so this is probability of S spam P over probability of C. Okay? And and can you find this out? Can you uh, find the first thing out? So again, S is not the sample space. Sorry, I, I used the bad uh, notation, but anyway. So it's S is a spam. So can you find this? And can you also find this? Uh, so recall that what we know is we know P of S, we know P of H, we know P of C given S, we know P of C given S complement. Okay, so this is this is this is S. Okay, right. So this is what we know, right? And can can you compute these two probabilities? 
Okay, so this is the question of this segment. And please try to work on it before watching the next one. All right, have fun. I'll see you next.